tutto real. If your PC is sluggish or you're getting boring error messages, it might be time to back up your files and reset your PC to its factory settings. In this video, I will show you how to get your computer running smoothly again. First, what you want to do is to go on the start button, shutdown button and press shift key and click restart. and wait for a bit okay now click on troubleshoot now click reset this pc okay now at this point you have two options you can either keep your personal files and only remove downloaded apps and settings or you can wipe everything and start from scratch each choose will also give you an additional settings to change if you choose keep my files, apps and settings will default to what they were when the PC was brand new, but your personal files will be saved. If you want to delete everything, click remove everything and Windows will simply erase all your files. This is the default option and it is the quickest way to remove your personal files. However, you can also choose to clean the drive completely by clicking change settings at the additional settings screen, then toggling the data erasure options to on. We will click remove everything. Now everything you need to do is to wait. Ok, now you have two options, cloud download or local reinstall. We will choose local reinstall. This depends on the version of the Windows that you have. Now it asks you again, would you like to remove your files or to fully clean the drive? We will go to fully clean the drive. Now click reset, it asks you again. And all you need to do now is to wait. We will skip this part. Ok, now preparing and installing Windows. Don't turn off your PC, this will take a while. Ok, now after restoring Windows to factory defaults, you get initial configuration screen, start with the region, I will give you final conclusions once we finish this, keyboard layout, skip, I don't have internet, continue with limited setup, if you want you can connect your account. Microsoft with your Windows, but I will not do that, so I will continue with a limited setup, except the thing you hear right now is my fan going crazy running virtual machine, let's give it a name, Asus, next, password, no, next, wait a little bit longer, what I like to do is to disable all these shits coming from Microsoft. Not now. Now be patient for several minutes more. And that's it. We've reset at Windows 10 to its factory defaults. What I want to tell you is this is not the most efficient way. The best thing is to perform clean installation, which I will cover in some of the next videos. Uh, thank you for watching, leave a like, share it with your friends, donate if you want to, and uh, we will see in some of the next videos. Thank you guys and goodbye.